happening everyone welcome back to another video hope you're all having a fantastic day out there today we're talking about one of my favorite zz top riffs that i see everyone play wrong and you know what i played it wrong for many many years so maybe maybe we'll all be playing this riff right so we're going to talk about what riff is it cheap sunglasses it's going down you can get the tabs link down below in the description i'll have tabs in the video for you but there's a couple of things in this riff that i just see played wrong all the time it's not played up here so if you've been playing it up there I got, I got bad news for you, <laughs> but don't worry, we're gonna, we're gonna play it right. So let's go ahead and jump into this one and uh, let's talk about the tuning because it's not tuned to standard tuning. So a little while back I did a video called the Billy Gibbons Guitar Hack where I was talking about playing fretted notes with open strings like Billy does. You know, all the kind of things that, that you know Billy's always doing in his playing, that's who I got it from. And I was talking about cheap sunglasses. That's where I first learned how to do this. What I wanted to do was talk about the way people play this. I see a lot of people play it in a lot of different ways, but if you watch Billy play it live, for one, he plays it down here. But there's a couple of things that you gotta do. I see people play it down here. And those are the correct notes, don't get me wrong. That is the right way, as far as notes are concerned, that's the right way to play it. I see people play it down here. That is the wrong way to play it. You don't play it like that tuned to standard tuning because what's happening is this note, ooh, that note's not in there. It, make, it makes my ears hurt when I hear some, someone play it like that. I'm like, that note is not in there. So wh what's the difference here? What do we have to do to play this riff right? So if you look at the notes, you know, he's playing this little arpeggio, or, or sorry, triad. Okay, and that's the right way, but that's a big jump for Billy. You know, if you watch his hand, he is right here. So I was like, man, this is so confusing. How is he playing this riff down here? I hear the notes, but what is he doing? Well, it goes back to a little thing that I like to do called double drop D. Now, I do not know Billy Gibbons, so I cannot ask him personally, but I'm pretty sure that he is probably tuning his high E string down to D. He's tuning it down a full step. Now, I've done a, another lesson about this a long time ago called double drop D. Page uses this tuning a lot. It's not like a super weird tuning, but um, it allows you to do this. Ah, there it is. Now he have, has some chorus on it and all that stuff. I have a very light chorus, um, but I think that might be an overdub even. It might be two separate guitar tracks, but I don't know that for sure either. What I do know is that Billy plays it down here and these are the notes, you know. So it's the same as up here. Tonally, it's a little bit different. You know, the thicker strings sound thicker, so. Okay, so that's the first part of the riff, is he's just holding down second fret on the G, B, and the high E string with the high E tuned down to D. So, and he slides that up a full stop. Now, when I refer to the high E string, just know that it's technically a D note, but I'm just gonna continue to refer to it as a high E string. Now, the next thing happens here is, there's a couple different ways you can play this. I've seen people talk about hybrid picking this, where you're using your pick and your fingers. Um, on the live videos, I see Billy do one one hit and he slides his hand up. You know, and he kind of, you know, he'll do that. So I think he's just picking it. You could do it however you want, um, but I think he's just picking it like this. You know, at least in the video I watched, it was from 1980. Um, so he's Billy Gimmons, he does what he wants, so he can change it. Now the next thing is I see a lot of people do this next part wrong, it goes. I see a lot of people do that part wrong. What I see a lot of times is they play an open low E string. Maybe they do it like that. They do a lot of different stuff. It's not an open low E. If you watch and really listen to it and watch Billy's hands, he plays an open D string first. So it goes open D, then first fret on the low E string. And then here starts that whole fretted note with open string thing that I talk about. And he's not doing power chords. I see people do power chords too. You can, it doesn't, not that it doesn't sound cool, but it's just not how, you know, Billy does it. So when you're doing this, the, I mean, you want, you want to do like the rev, right? You don't get any cooler than, than the rev, so let's just try to play it like him. So, okay. And that's what's happening for the whole riff. So there's only a couple notes that are actual single notes. It's that D string note open. Now you're going to pluck that with your middle finger. Then you go to first fret on the low E string. So that's a... Da, da, da. Okay. And a lot of it is getting this like 
bounce to the riff that you know ZZ Top always has. That kind of like that's just that tux, uh, Texas Texas shuffle. Now what happens is he goes to third fret on the low E string, and you're gonna play third fret low E string and open D string. Now it's important that you don't let these notes ring out. They're not big open chord. Nothing like that. It's real short. You gotta have them real punchy and stoppy. So. Okay, it's like that. So how you're achieving that is you're playing third fret on the low E string and open D string, and you're letting your right hand hit the strings and mute it. As soon as that note plays, so this is where, watch this hand, you have like a bounce to your hand because you literally have to bounce your hand off the strings, on the strings, off the strings, on the strings to get that real tight sound. So we have. Okay. That open D string is like the, the note that rings out the longest. Okay? And then you're gonna play that third fret low E string, open D, so you have that twice. Do it again a third time. Now we're gonna change our strings that we're using here, because you're gonna go to first fret on the A, and then open G this time. So again, it sounds great. Okay, so. Then you go up to third fret with that open G. Okay, so there's one other part in here that I I, I can't totally see what Billy's hand was doing. It's this part right here. So sometimes I feel like he doesn't hit that open string with the third uh, hit on that third fret, the low E string. I think it's a single note, and sometimes it sounds like it does. I think he's just playing up there, being cool, having a beard and uh, he's just jamming out, so. so. Sometimes I think he plays that third third fret on the low string without the open string, but again, like I said, you know, that's getting real picky. It depends on how picky you wanna be. So, I mean, we're already talking about playing the same note somewhere else, so I guess we're, we're, we're going there. We're there. We have arrived at Picky Town. And that's gonna be it, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like I said, simple, just one riff. There's lots of riffs in that song. I mean, and actually, uh, when I figured out this tuning a long time ago, um, and maybe wonder, is he just doing those two notes, or is he going? I don't. You know what, man? It just—it's never ending. Billy Gibbons is just a plethora of guitar knowledge. You learn some ZZ Top, man. Go back. Esquire, Billy Evans Esquire days, man, get it. So other than that, I'm gonna bounce on out of here, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you would, subscribe. You can leave a comment if you want to. If you made it to the end of the video, yo, always leave a comment, hashtag end it bluesy. That's what we do here. We end it bluesy. I totally messed that up, didn't I? All right, bye guys, woo!